Today I'm talking about how you can export your LinkedIn contacts and create a email newsletter from those contacts. So if you're doing a upcoming product launch, you're launching a campaign on Kickstarter, Indiegogo, or a traditional product launch, you can use these contacts to notify them, you can tease the campaign as it's leading up to the launch, etc. So before we get into that, I just want to very quickly show you here, if you want to join my group and you want to learn more about Kickstarter, Indiegogo, you want to communicate with other people interested in that topic, you can just search on LinkedIn for crowdfunding, Kickstarter, and Indiegogo, and you can join my group here, over 6,000 members. You can ask questions, you can feel free to post your campaign, etc. cetera. Uh, just request access and I'll, I'll be sure to add you very quickly, uh, as quickly as possible, and you can start interacting. Okay, let's get to this training video. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to my network and you're gonna hit connections. And this is gonna have a list of your different connections, et cetera. These are my connections. LinkedIn is really powerful because you can connect with people who understand what you do business-wise or understand what your goals are. They have a feel for your personality. If you met them in person, maybe it's a virtual relationship online. I have people who add me to their LinkedIn network after having watched one of my videos, after having read a blog article, et cetera. So people already have some sense as to who I am, what I'm about, what my values are, et cetera. So that's why it's a really powerful tool. Okay, so you're gonna go to settings here on the right, this little icon. After we get here, you're gonna have some, uh, sort of some options here. If you wanna expand your LinkedIn connections, you can import people from Gmail, et cetera, but we're exporting today. So we wanna go here to this little right-hand corner, advanced settings, and we're gonna hit export your LinkedIn connections. And we'll get a bunch of different options here from this menu. So CSV files, Yahoo Mail, Mac OS address book, et cetera. Just gonna do CSV file and we're gonna export that. Okay, we just got this. Your connections were successfully exported. Sweet. Okay, so the next step of this process is we wanna import these connections into some kind of an email marketing software tool. And the reason we wanna do that is we wanna see when we send out a blast email to all of these contacts, how many people open that email, how many people click the links that we include in that email? What are the conversion rates like? What is the engagement for our email list? And also, if we're teasing a campaign, you know, sending out an email two weeks before we launch, at least getting an idea of some of the responses we're getting, uh, et cetera, is going to be really helpful. So I recommend going with MailChimp. So this is my MailChimp account. The reason I recommend MailChimp, there are a lot of different software tools out there. If you are a beginner, MailChimp is free up until 2,000 subscribers. So it's very easy to get started and to try out the functionality. I got started on MailChimp. Uh, I, it's a little bit of a learning curve, you know, obviously learning any kind of new software tool, but it is relatively straightforward and there's a thriving community. So if you have any questions, you can always Google a question. So we're gonna create a list under lists here. List name, let's say LinkedIn contacts my LinkedIn contacts. Uh, default from address, sal at crowdcrux.com, from name, Salvador Brigman. And a short reminder as to how people signed up, uh, you are one of my LinkedIn contacts. Sweet, now we're gonna hit save and it should make the list. Okay, we have a brand new list here. So there's a lot of different options here. Gives you stats, you can manage existing subscribers, there are signup forms, etc. Okay, so we're gonna wanna add subscribers to this list. We're gonna import the list. Uh, CSV file, we have a CSV file that was exported via LinkedIn. So that's good. We're gonna choose the file here. Downloads uh, my LinkedIn contacts. I understand this billing might be upgraded. If we import a lot of contacts, then it's gonna automatically import, uh, upgrade, sorry, the billing plan that we have with MailChimp. Hit next. Okay, so what happened here? This was actually a lot of columns. Uh, and I would probably copy and paste this list looking back. But uh, since we went this route, let's just finish with it. So I'm gonna skip this column because there's nothing in here. First name, we're assigning the first name here. Column name. Since there's nothing in this column, obviously we're skipping it. Last name, yep. Okay, we're gonna skip this one. Email address, yes. Basically we're going through and we're telling MailChimp what these various columns are. So a lot of these are actually not filled in. 
So what I could have done ahead of time is I could have gone in the CSV file and I could have deleted all of these different columns. So I wouldn't have to go through, you know, 37, 36. <laughs> wouldn't have to go through all these. It would save me a lot of time. But if you had different things, like this has the company, you know, Razu Center for New National Security, I could include those if I wanted to, to have a more comprehensive list. But I just right now care about, and I have like the job titles, et cetera, I could even segment the list based on some of these different variables. Right now, I'm just doing the name and email. And that's how I'm going to do. So we're going to be skipping all of these, basically. Um, 15, 14, 13. And well, as I'm doing this, I just want to say that when you're sending out emails from MailChimp, I would recommend actually writing these emails as though you are sending them to a friend. You don't really want to have business speak sort of emails, like very, we're announcing this product. Um, it's really writing to the friend, the person that you made that connection with. When someone opens an email, and I really pride myself on this, if you open one of my emails, I want you to feel like I sent that email specifically to you. And that although, yes, this is an, you know, a blast to over 10,000 subscribers, I want you to feel like this is an individual email to you when you open that. Because I do want to form that one-on-one -on -one relationship with my subscribers. I don't want them to feel like they're one of 10,000 people. You know, if, if I'm not announcing a new product, I want people to feel like if they have a question, they can ask me. If they have any thoughts, they can reply to that email. You know, it, it makes someone much more likely to check out what it is you're doing if they feel like you are doing something on a personal level and not something that's like, we're announcing this on this and like, take advantage here, you know, very sales speaky kind of language that just turns people off. Like we get so many marketing messages all the time that really turns people off. Okay, so what I would do next here, I'm not going to import this list because that would obviously, it might upgrade my billing, etc. Um, it says you're all set to import. It's importing three of the 60 columns. Um, depending on which columns you want it, you could obviously go back and change here. You could have the category that the person is uh, um, being assigned as, and then you just hit import. And if I had made a mistake here, I would hit edit. I could go back. Um, this one, I actually didn't want to import here, so I could do skip. Uh, and I'd have to go through all this again. But this sort of gives you an idea of how easy it is to simply export your LinkedIn contacts to a CSV file. Just go to uh, connections and you'll have that there to then start sending marketing messages. And you literally, literally saw this is like what, a seven minute video or so. Um, we could get started with this right now. And we would already have an email list of over 2,000 people. And that makes a very healthy day one launch for any kind of product. As long as you reiterate the connection that you have, as long as you have a correct pitch, you really show that this is something that you've been working hard on, that people should care about, demonstrating the value, all these different things I've talked about in other videos, um, you can start to see conversions from a list of people like this just because of their their prior connection to you. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, if you want me to post more training videos for free, be sure to give this a thumbs up and come subscribe to this YouTube channel. Again, my name is Salvador Brigman. Hope you have a good day.